at Quail Hollow. I'm Sarah Bartle from Sanders and just going to give you a quick overview of how we do our choices and activity board. The beginning of the year we were not using the boards I'm about to show you. We started off with like a paper version of a tic-tac-toe board to get them used to making choices and then we transitioned them into this board after about a month of the tic-tac-toe boards. But basically each student has their own um, choice board they call it that looks like this. There's just Velcro pieces and I'm gonna, I can send this to you in a template. Our wonderful team leader Danny Jensen is the mastermind behind this. And then on the back as you can see are all their pieces. And so I'm gonna kind of explain to you each day what the kids do as they come in. So um, this over here is what we call their task management grid. And we just came up with this to try to help them track what they still need to do. So each day they come in to see what hasn't been done. So for example, um, Jet would come in and he could see that he still needs to do buddy math, maybe some steam. And then it looks like he has all of his ELA choices done. So then he would come to this board and if he needs buddy math, he would take, put buddy math and it goes under the steam size. It's separated by ELA and steam choices and we color coded it that way too just to make it easier for the kiddos. And um, if, I forget what else I said, oh, steam. There's a steam card, he could put it there. And then um, we try to encourage them to make at least an ELA choice as well. So he might do a work on writing. And then each teacher does this a little bit differently, but usually we have some type of required that they might need to do. It could be a small group mini lesson, could be word work or math by myself is done through um, one of our choices. So they would put that there. So I'm just gonna put a math by myself. So on this side, as you can see, every day, read to self is required, and we do that whole group. Writer's Workshop, we do a, a short five, ten minute um, benchmark lesson, and then throughout their day, as they're doing their choices, it's their job to get their writing done. And then they also have their required that they have to get done. The choices on these, this side, we would like for them to get done throughout the day, but if they don't, they can just continue with it the next day. And as they complete activities, they can mark it off. There's a little mark, and then they come here and mark it off here as well. Now, if you travel with me, hopefully I'm not going too fast, I'll show you kind of where they go to do these activities. So at our school, we have this cabinet. You can set it up, obviously, to fit your classroom. And in this area, a lot of the teachers use these three, three George bins because we differentiate word work and math and work on writing. So the students just learn where the different areas are for each subject and they come here and they get out their choices. And we chose to, within each choice, provide three different activities within the choice. Because it's all about voice and choice with the whole Latic structure. Um, and then for the activities that are not differentiated, like STEAM, ALU, math writing, they are, sorry, this is not my classroom. <laughs> they are down here, just in the different buckets, and we have them labeled. But it's the same concept. We just use the baggies with the choices, and a big thing that has helped our team that we kind of learned through Failing Forward is we created steps, and it's just basically um, a learning video, then usually a how-to, because otherwise you're gonna have a million kids coming up asking you how to do every single activity where if they have these steps, it kind of walks them through, and then we encourage them to use the help and the expert board, which I'm sure you're familiar with. Um, girls, did I leave anything off? I think that's so I think that's pretty much the gist of it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to send us an email and ask us, or you know, we can see if possibly there's a way for you to come and take a peek into our classrooms if you would like to. Good luck.